Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here for the first drive of this big bad truck next to me. What is it? This is the one you waited for. This is the redesigned all new 2025 Ram 1500. But before we get into this changed up and an all new trim, let's talk about what's going on here. When you think Ram, you think trucks. That's all they do. And it was so smart of Dodge and Ram to separate. Once upon a time, it was all about the Dodge Ram. But since that separation, it's really allowed a pure pinpoint precision focus on making the trucks that people want. Now, when I think of Ram, I think about how much they revolutionized the truck. Growing up in my dad's mechanic shop, taking his work truck back and forth on the weekends to the shop, it was an uncomfortable experience. Bench seat, a crappy radio, the air conditioning barely worked. But boy, today's trucks are totally different. And a lot of it has to do because of the Ram series. Now, I mentioned that this is not only the first drive, but this is also an all new trim. So you're still going to get your plethora of ways to option your Ram 1500. From the Tradesman, which is your entry level, of course we can't forget the Ram Rebel Off-Roader, but now coming in above the limited trim is the tungsten trim. So what I want to find out is, has Ram done the 1500, that bread and butter of their lineup, done it right, getting rid of the Hemi, no more Hemi V8, and now creating a new tungsten trim to compete against those F-150 Platinums, Chevy High Countries, GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. Is this the best new luxury spec truck to buy? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, it's a familiar shape, but there's a lot of new changes. And it all starts at the front of the business, of course. We're gonna have all new updated lighting. So we have a revised, smaller headlight housing. I like the way they didn't go too tiny with it. Full LED headlights, blacked out on the interior. You'll notice that we have our LED daytime running lamps, which are also our turn singles built in. Now, working our way down, we do have this unique front fascia, and this is unique to the top tungsten trim. Working our way down, I love the way, instead of just putting fake vents, they have a triple stack of LED projector beam fog lamps. The chrome goes with the tungsten. So the nice thing is, is you're still gonna get your Laramie, you're still gonna get your big horn. You have all those other trims depending on what you want. This one is that bling blingin' top luxury spec. But you'll notice with the redesigned front fascia, they really got a nice aero look, but also wanted to bring a little bit more aggression to the front of the Ram 1500. Now, as we come across the all new grill, there's some changes going on here. First of all, what they did was they made the grill taller. So that's gonna be one of the main things. And then the other thing they did, if you notice the Ram lettering is actually higher in the grill. By doing that, it gives you the visual perspective. Remember, your vision is all from the back of your head, that occipital lobe. So everybody has eyes in the back of their head. But what that does for your occipital lobe is that it gives you the perspective of this thing being much meaner, meaner without going too over the top. Of course, we're gonna have technology like a forward-facing camera, and this particular tungsten has all the cameras, all the angles, bright, shiny chrome on the lettering, on the little touches, and I hope you have your Ram Ray-Ban Edition sunglasses because this thing is bling bling and especially top and bottom with the chrome finish. Working your way down, you'll notice that you have gloss black on the lower grill area. I'm glad they didn't bring more chrome accents. That's enough just around the perimeter of this lower grill area. Now, if you're wondering about how much ground clearance do we have, this truck has an active adaptive air suspension, which you could raise and lower it. Plus it has a new aero mode when you're on the highway and when you're getting out of the truck. So in standard conditions, you're looking at about 8.7 inches of ground clearance. Of course, you could raise that up. If you need more ground clearance, you would go Ram Rebel 
over this tungsten trim, but definitely looks cleaner, but yet aggressive, more aggressive compared to the outgoing version. You do have active aero shutters that are gonna open and close to let more or less air in for the new power plants. Now, as we rise up, one of the touches that I really like is how they have this little dip comes down into that top grill area, and then the dip follows and then it evaporates. And of course, if you're gonna have a truck, a 1500 series truck, you gotta have the bulge. And what's great about this is Ram knows all about the bulge, so they give you the bulge with the style. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? Feast your eyes on these beauties. 22 inches in diameter on the tungsten trim. Love the machined aluminum, the gunmetal gray accents, and if you're wondering well, what's the size of the tire on this 22 inch wheel, 235 on the width, 40 series sidewall. Lori's gonna zoom in to show you the upper portion of that air ride suspension with our special control arms and all the other tech that they put into engineering this chassis to ride like no other full size truck. That's one of their goals. Another thing that I love about this, especially because it's the top tungsten trim, painted all the way around the fender openings. And we have these very nice flared fenders, which are which give it that extra, like I said, that extra kind of oomph to the front of it that maybe the previous gen was lacking a little bit. Now, as we rise up, I'm taking the elevator back up. You'll notice that we have our 1500 badge and you'll notice something different, SST high output. So standard on the tungsten trim is gonna be that high output hurricane engine which we will talk more about that when we pop the hood. Like I mentioned, if you were paying attention, which I hope you were paying attention, at the start of the video, no more Hemi. So dude, you got a Hemi in there? No, we don't have a Hemi, but I don't think you're gonna be disappointed when it comes to drivability and performance. Now on this tungsten, we do have the shiny chrome on the mirror caps. Like I said, you gotta have your Ram Ray-Ban so it doesn't blind you. LED lighting, same thing on the side. Ram spelled, that, spelled out with that new tungsten trim and the trim on the door follows all the way back to the actual bed. Now get ready for this. Let's say you don't wanna just jump into your truck like the Dukes of Hazard. Tungsten trim, standard on those electric dropping running boards. And what I like about them is that they tuck all the way in if you look at some of the competition, they put trim on the running boards. That makes it look a little too heavy perspective-wise. I like the way they did that. Of course, if you're gonna bring the shiny bits, it's gotta go all the way around our side window openings. And then as we get towards the rear of the truck, this is where on some trucks, things start to kind of fall flat. You know how like, say you're at home and you go to get some soda and you open up the two liter bottle and it's been sitting there a while, and then you're just like, this tastes like crap. Well, guess what? On the Ram trucks, it doesn't get flat like an old soda. What you're gonna have is we have our Ram boxes. Love the way they brought usability into the truck. First of all, they're lockable, so you could actually have that lockable storage. You simply push the button, raise up, and now you have full weather protection in the side of the bed. And what's great is, is that it doesn't compromise interior bedroom as, see what I did there, bedroom, that's kind of weird. Bedroom or cargo capacity, I should say, in the bed of the truck to where if you bought aftermarket side boxes that go in the bed, you're gonna sacrifice a lot of room. These, you have the usability, you don't sacrifice as much room. Plus, look at what we have in here. You actually have a home power source. Nicely plug it in there, great to use. Turn it into a cooler, whatever you got. Like I said, it's all weather protection. And then they close down nicely. This one has the uh, tonneau cover on the back and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to utilize this. We get to the back, just like up front, we have all new LED lighting from top to bottom. Look at these guys. Let's say you're at a workplace. I'm gonna use my hand and bring it down. There you go. You're at a workspace and you need to get the tools out of the back. I don't care if you have a work boot, a tennis shoe, or a clown shoe, you're gonna be able to get in and out with your arms very, very easily. And I like the way they're not power. I don't need a power one to do that. And then they just tuck right back up. Simple, clean. 
we get to the back. Ram, nobody's gonna confuse your truck for some other brand. Four by four, of course, is standard. Tungsten, even the way they did the font, the lettering, and then here's where it gets really good. Dropping it down to ground level, of course, we have our full tow capabilities. And look at the exhaust, ginormous opening slash cut, really nice with that polished tips on both sides. And then, do you think we're done yet? No, first of all, you do have your spare tire nicely mounted underneath. We also have that industry changing five link rear suspension, which makes this truck ride like no other full size truck before it. And then get ready for this one, abracadabra, Alakazam, make the tailgate open. Nice electric power dropping. And then now you'll see how the tonneau cover works. So you actually have these latches, these ratcheting latches that lock it in, but when it's unlocked, I'm just gonna open it up just one flap there. You could keep flapping it, boom, boom, boom. This is gonna give you that truck space. Now you'll notice that we have our LED lighting on both sides tie down locations, and I really like this tool here. How many times do you go to Home Depot and you have that stuff you bought that's not big enough to take up the whole bed, you put it back here and then it rolls around and by the time you get home, it's broken. I like this because what's great is, is you could adjust it with the different notches in the bed liner, and obviously that's there to protect the bed, but this is a nice locking mechanism. And all you're gonna do is, is you're gonna open it up and then now, you can take it out. So if you don't even want this in there, now you can take it out. You can see all that usable space in there, like the way they have that, plus you have the functionality. I'm just gonna lay it back in there for right now, but you got all your tie downs, the weather protection by having that tonneau cover, and then you're ready for the last piece of the puzzle? Check this out. I'm gonna switch sides here. Boop. Now you have a power lifting tailgate. So not only power dropping, power lifting as well. But guess what? This is just part of the new Ram 1500 Tugston. Let's pop that hood and talk power. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Underneath the hood, like I said, no longer any V8 power plants available. We have the bad boy new for 2025 in this Ram. That is the high output three liter twin turbo straight six. So this is the engine that we debuted for you with the Jeep Grand Wagoneer about a year ago. You're looking at 540 horsepower, 521 pound-feet of torque. Now, if you don't get the high output, standard output is 420 horsepower, 468 pound-feet of torque, and there is a base engine that is not turbocharged. That's going to be that Pentastar 3.6 liter V6, which is 305 horsepower, 269 pound-feet of torque. Now, the nice thing is, no matter what engine you go with, you're gonna get that tried and true Torque Flight eight-speed automatic. Now, with this high output Hurricane engine, I love the name of that engine, the Hurricane, you're looking at a forged crank, forged pistons, to give you that reliability and durability. This truck can tow 11,580 pounds, has a payload capacity of 2,300 pounds. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the MPGs? You're looking at around 15 in the city, 20 on the highway for the high output engine. Now, when you compare those power numbers to the outgoing Hemi, Obviously, a lot more oomph underneath the hood, but why don't we go ahead, let's fire this thing up and see it move. All right, guys, yeehaw! Being here in Austin, Texas, come on in to this Ram 1500 Tungsten. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, in our family, we already have a Jeep Grand Wagoneer. I get all the high-end luxury when I wanna haul around the kids, when I wanna 
haul around my friends. But for me, I'm a truck person and I want those same luxurious touches that the Grand Wagoneer has. And I'm also digging that this has the Hurricane engine, the high output one, just like my Grand Wagoneer. How much is this truck? Because I'm thinking about the competition, but I've been a Mopar or no car kind of person ever since, since my grandpappy used to drive me around in his plum crazy Dodge Challenger, Hemi powered. How much is this truck? Very good question. MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right at $90,000. Let's see how it compares to the competition to the door panels. Love the upscale use of materials. You have that nice leather style up top. It's a bluish, what they call sea salt color, the bronze stitching. You'll notice the seat controls are now on the door panel. That allows for a larger seat, a more comfortable seat. Plus you have 24 different adjustments and massage seats for the front passenger and driver. You see that carbon fiber, it's got that forged carbon fiber trim, classy without being too over the top, and then that metal knurling all throughout the trim. So all that silver trim has been laser etched to give it that nice knurling texture. In the center, you have that Texum, Texas Hold'em Twinkie troll, uh, tray. That's where you can put up to six Twinkies. And if you're wondering what's a Texas Twinkie, that's where it's gonna be filled with a little bit of hot sauce and some special cream in there to really make your day a little brighter. Now, this does have the, the Clips sound system, premium audio with the aluminum speaker grill cover, the knurling all the way around, 23 speakers in here. That's more than Sound Advice used to have in their stores. And then check out the door pocket, large enough for two rattlesnake burgers and some sarsaparilla to wash it down. Two bottles of sarsaparilla. Now going from that beautiful blue door panel to the dash, look at the leather, the bronze piping, the stitching. They really brought this to a new level over the limited trim. Even on the oh crap handle, you have the leather with the stitching. And then new for 2025, the passenger gets that 10.25 inch screen. Now right now it's off, to turn it on, I just hit the button. And from the driver's seat, I can't see anything. It's got this sort of like technology to black it out from my perspective. I've actually had to practice this. So it, you should see things like your radio, you could adjust, uh, navigation. It also has your swipe features, get into that navigation and everything, bring it up so you can help the driver navigate and get you to your favorite fast food place and then you could just swipe it right back and bring us back to home. Like I said, it's a little hard from where I'm sitting. I've had a practice, but I think I succeeded and I like the way that the driver can't see anything and be distracted. Of course, we got the tungsten trim, the name prominently displayed, the stitching. On the sides here, we do have enough room for a couple Texas sized bananas. Remember, bananas have more potassium than broccoli. And then as you come on in, this is all new, 14 and a half inch Uconnect 5 system. Love the way it's integrated into the dash. And that's big for me to say because I am not the biggest fan of portrait style. That's the vertical style infotainment, but it works. It works up here. You'll notice up top how we have more stitching, the RAM name, and this is where you could run a radar detector if you need to, because you have a 12 volt up there. Back to the screen, what's nice is, is the familiar buttons we have. So if you need to adjust your dual climate control, your blower fan speed, the different mode of where the air is blowing, you could do that all with your buttons. The rest of it is all gonna be touchscreen. So of course we have navigation. I go into comfort, look at this. Three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats, three stages of heated steering wheel. So they got you covered there. And then when it comes to vehicle, we hit vehicle settings. Look at all the cameras that we have. You ready for this? You don't want to scratch those wheels. You don't have to scratch the wheels on the curb, those beautiful 22 inch wheels, super clear resolution. You could look out the back. We could do 360. I'm telling you, more cameras than, and you could add cameras 
which is cool to this. It's not just, hey, you're stuck with these cameras, you get to use all of them. When you go into your dashboard here, you go into towing and trailers, you could have five trailers memorized in here for your towing. So say if you have a boat, say if you have a car hauler, you could have that information all saved. And then of course you could go into settings and pretty much adjust anything 20 different ways from Sunday. I'm gonna throw it into reverse so you can see that backup camera, super clear. I just wish the screen would be a little bit larger, but the, vi the visual real estate, the screen is large, I just want it to come down a little bit more. That to me, it's a little small, but the resolution, I mean, I could count all the pebble, pebbles in the sand there. That's how good the camera is. Now, as we work our way down, the rest of it is all touch screen for your, you could turn on your trailer steer. You could actually raise and lower. Right now we're in normal. The height because of that adaptive air suspension. Here is your controller for the transmission. Nice twist for that eight speed torque flight. I like the way they put the finish on this tungsten trim. And you have your buttons for your four x four system. Back to the center, we have a real volume knob. And then look at all the connectivity down here. More than what you ever found at Radio Shack. USB-Cs, USB-As, HDMIs, two wireless charging stations. So you actually can take your phones, which that's what Lori and I are gonna do right now, and you could actually put two phones in here to wirelessly charge, and I like the way that they're positioned. Nice, upright. Of course, you have all that flexibility. This is something that Ram revolutionized everybody. Down in here, you have a home power source, which is great. You can literally put three tackle boxes in here. No, I'm not talking about tackle boxes to go fishing. I'm talking about Long John Silver tackle boxes. Some hush puppies, some fries, some fish sticks, some tartar sauce, maybe like cocktail sauce. I always wondered why they call it cocktail sauce and never made sense to me as a kid. But I love the way they have that room. More forged, forged carbon fiber, open sesame, two cup holders, open this bad boy. Now we have felt lining. So this is where you could put the family jewels. So if you're gonna go ride a, a bucking Bronco, you put the family jewels in there so that you're able to still have kids down the road and they're not gonna get scratched. The tungsten gets a special key fob. And I love the style of the new key fob. Re very worthy of the Ram name. And what's cool is when you lock and unlock the doors, you get special lighting effects that welcome you and say goodbye to you as you come towards and leave your Ram truck. Those are the things they wanna make you feel special, like you and your Ram have locked horns and you're connected. Look at this, stitching like it came out of a high-end luxury vehicle. You got your VIN number with the tungsten badge. Love the stitching. And then more felt lining. So you could put your Texas size belt buckle in here. It's gonna take up this whole room, but it's not gonna get scratched. Open this up, you got plenty of room in here. Right now I got a couple water bottles, but this is gonna be perfect for some spurs. Maybe you take off your cowboy boots. You could actually put them down in there. That's how much room there is. Seats, the leather, the stitching, new design seats, wider with the tungsten name, the, all the stitching, perforations, and then like I said, all the seat controls are on the door panel. One thing that I forgot to show, which we're gonna have to go back to the screen, is when it comes to your massage set, uh, seats. So here's all the controls and it's all touch screen for your massage se seats. I'll bring it back up just so you can see it one more time here. Here we go. And as you can see, the screen comes back up and then it goes back. I can make all the adjustments very easily. I got a little impatient with the buttons and I was pushing them too much, but seats are comfy. What else do we have? Suede headliner. Look where the speakers are. 23 speakers in here. And you have, of course, a panoramic sunroof with the power shade. Nice to have that feature. I'm going to bring it back. There's no point to let more sun come in here and cause a lot of glare. And then the cherry on top of all this is you have a digital rear view mirror. So you can see the lineup of the vehicles. These are all people that want to see the new Ram truck that we're in. We told them as soon as we're done filming, we're going to let them come and check out the interior. But why don't you come over to the business end? I got a steering wheel 
with the ram horns on it. I want to show you. Come on over. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Of course, you're going to have two memory seat settings. Welcome you. You have the nice ram aluminum sill plate, and then check out the pedal box. They did a nice finish on the dead pedal, aluminum finish on the brake pedal and the throttle, and their power pedals. So you could actually move them forward and backwards all by the touch of this switch gear. Down below, you're going to have the tungsten name. That's worth an extra five horsepower on these floor mats. No controls, nice and smooth finish. I'm six feet tall. I feel phenomenal in here. And really, you would have to probably come in at shack size to feel cramped. And if you are shack or shack size, just open up the sunroof and just stick your head through it and drive it that way. Speaking of driving, love the blue. Everything on so many trucks is black. Black steering wheel, black that. Look at this blue, very tasteful. It's also gonna not show tons of fingerprints. They even did the stitching right on the horn button. Look at a Ford horn button and then look at this and tell me which one's better. Flat black on all the switch gear. My one zonk is it's a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Why oh why? And the controls for that are right here. On a top tungsten trim, they need to be power, but you have some forged carbon fiber. And then behind that, you do have a 12.3 inch all new digital gauge cluster. You could scroll through a cornucopia of gauges, information. I mean, there's so much that you could display. You would need to own this truck for the next 52 years to get all the displays up there. And there's a 10 inch head up display. And if you're wondering, what is this? This is for the semi-autonomous and autonomous driving features, which this truck has. That is new technology developed for this redesigned Ram. But remember, it's not just about what's happening up front. Let's get into that backseat area and see if your passengers are gonna be happy that you went Ram over the competition. Hi right, guys, backseat time. And you know what? I keep saying it over and over again, but there's more room in the backseat of these full-size trucks than I had in my college dorm room. And like I said, this is a 1500. This isn't like a 3500 or a 2500. So very, very respectable to Ram for making so much room back here. Now you're gonna notice some big changes to the backs of the seats when you go tungsten. We have the two different colors, the sea salt with that blue, the stitching, all leather material. We have the Klipsch sound system speaker in the back of the seat for the passenger. And you even have a nice tasteful pocket here with the stitching and the piping. Easily put, I would say four Texas tarantula dogs in here. That's actually a specialty is the rattlesnakes and the tarantulas. You could put those back there, have those as a snack. Love the way they brought the forged carbon fiber to the command center, two cup holders, all that knurling going on, the AC vents. My one zonk is I would like to have a touchscreen display back here to control the air. The only thing your passengers can control is whether they want the air blowing or not, and then where they're directing it. Of course, you have three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats. I just would like some actual AC controls, USB-Cs, USB-As, and a home power source. And then these freaking seats, man. It's like you think, you say to yourself, it can't get more comfortable than this. But guess what? When you go with the new Ram, they can get more comfortable. You actually reach underneath and then they slide out and you have reclining seats in the back. This is something new. And look at how much they come forward. I mean, that to me is the biggest surprise. Pull this bad boy down. What the hell's going on here? We got another usable space. More of that great stitching. Open it up. You could put your one pound bag of Twizzlers, couple Twinkies and your two drinks. And then watch. That to me says it all right there. And I got speakers blasting my favorite 80s music right at me while I'm relaxing and pigging out on Twizzlers and Twinkies. But you know what? It's that time. No more pigging out. No more talking. It's now time to see if Ram put the money where their mouth is and go on throttle in this high output hurricane powered Ram tungsten. All right, guys, we are inside this 2025 totally redesigned, all new trim of the Ram 1500 tungsten 
right away you are really sitting in the lap of luxury in this truck and like i said ram is really the truck brand that was the game changer this truck revolutionized how the interior bits of the full-size truck came into play now sitting here seats are comfortable lots of real estate to put your body in and i love the fact that they are massaging for both the driver and the passenger now sitting here getting to that large 14 and a half inch infotainment system well within reach and then you have a plethora of different storage options more storage space than probably the amount of stuff that you have now when it comes to driving the tungsten this is where you're going to get some big surprises first of all like i had pointed out already you have a ton of different information to show plus the drive modes which you have off-road auto snow tall uh, tow and of course my personal favorite which is sport and each of the modes is going to adjust how the uh, transmission behaves the engine the steering input throttle sensitivity all of those goodies now with the hurricane high output engine i think the biggest piece of news is that you're getting more horsepower and more torque than the outgoing hemi powered trucks and then remember the trx no longer exists for model year 2025. now besides the extra power we have less weight hanging off the front of the nose of this truck which makes it even easier to handle going down this back road here even though this is a full-size truck handles well the suspension especially that five link independent rear outback really curtails how much vibration enters the cabin and the running of the inline six twin turbocharged engine super smooth it really cuts down on vibration and i'm going to go ahead and just do a quick on throttle here if you're ready i'm ready on throttle here we go look at that wow you are not waiting long for those turbos to do their thing and spool up so that you are off and running all right guys getting ready to merge onto the highway if you're ready i'm ready on throttle here we go eight speed drops down and we are off and running smooth shifts from that torque flight eight speed automatic and really gets the power to the ground very nicely one of the things i'm really noticing about this ram tungsten is that it takes very little throttle sensitivity to really just give you enough power to where you're not having to lay in it on and off depending on how big a hill is how you know long or straight is things like that and i really feel that that is the flexibility of the new hurricane engine. it's interesting how like i said it's not like you have to nail the throttle to get that extra boost it's already there in the sweet spot but i'm just so glad to be able to bring this all new 2025 ram 1500 tungsten trim all right guys it's been a giddy up kind of day out here in austin texas definitely want to thank the whole ram team for inviting us so that we could bring this to you all new from top to bottom the ram 1500 especially the top tungsten trim let me know in the comment section are you digging what ram is bringing especially when you look at the competition when you look at the price point and you look at the performance of this truck let me know down in the comment section but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radies rise family got to give it up to lg rady she's laying it down freaking just laying the hits down getting all the angles that you want of this new tungsten trim show her some love in the comment section thank you lori for all that you do and just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride